Alrighty guys, what's going on? Chartang the Bearded Gamer here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Resident Evil 3 demo, which has just dropped, and if you're wondering how I'm playing it early, it's because I got uh, I have a New Zealand account, so I downloaded it off the New Zealand servers, because it's available there now. Um, I don't really want to talk too much, so we're just going to jump into it. Uh... Headphones, yeah. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, sure, we'll just play it on the default for now. Data process and blah, blah, blah. Uh, no. Not on this account anyway, because I haven't got a PSN account. I have an account, but I'm not PSN Plus, which is what I'm thinking. I think that's what you need for that. Anyway, here we go. Title screen. There's Nemesis just staring us down as soon as we start up. Great, great fun. I'm looking forward to taking on this guy. Okay, let's go. Let's get into it. Story options, are they just the same options? Ba -da -da -ba. Let's quickly check these out. Uh, should all be fine. All field of view. You can increase the field of view. We'll pump that up a little bit. No, oh, yeah, it's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just looking to see if there is any kind of um, like film grain effects or anything. And controller speaker off. I cannot stand that. There we go. English and okay. Let's go. This, the final game may differ from this demo. You cannot save or load your game in this demo. Makes sense. It is just a demo after all. Network connection has been lost. You never had it in the first place. So stop trying. New plague is spreading as a terrifying rate, embedding it so I'm okay, getting it through the world. Here we go. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. It looks good. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name. She is an elite operative of. RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Stars. Her name is something Valentine. What did he know? It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, Platoon Leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. He is looking going? dirty. The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. That looks All really right. good. That's facial animations. I'm in. But I am on their side. Not yeah. yours. Only way. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Yeah, she's a stars member. First things first. Okay. We need to get you geared up. Okay, Head so up the, the controls are pretty supplies, much the same yeah. so far. All right. Yeah. Okay. Inventory is the same. Files or oh, Jill's report. It's been two months since the mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I found will prove to be my final duty as a Stars Officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. Those infected by the virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be a communicable, communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite, contact with crows, well, any animal due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. 
should be noticed as a virus. Oh, what's going on at the moment in the real world? IRL. Should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just haven't to be resistant to the infection. Coincidence? I think so. We ought to remain vigilant even after the investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. Okay, oh, what have we got here? Gold Stalker on the red planet. We will find his target. Drift in space. Uh, okay. Big E. Features uh, uh, September 3998. Oh, here we go. Resident Evil 3. Fort Fall break in. L Squid. Tyrant of the Deep. Tyrant of the Deep. Okay. What else have we got over here? Look at all these posters. Party, party, party. That is a freaky looking clown. Will Roberts of Parchimanti, Science Forum. Lobster, Jim's Crabs. Try our special lobster menu. Only available September 1st to October 31st. Oh, two month period. What have we got here? An unenterable door. Okay. Dino bites. So tasty they might go extinct. Red and yellow. Be sure to brush your teeth after eating. Some weird stuff. I mean, actually, is that bubble bubble. Hmm. Raccoon real estate. Let's see. I love this kind of stuff. These little Easter eggs. I'm pretty sure all of this stuff is to do with Capcom and other people that worked on this game. New location in downtown RC. Shit, Captain. They really took a chunk out of you. Nothing yeah. that I would miss. This way. What's this? Ammo crafting, yep, so that's the same as far as I can assume. I'll take the ammo. Though, so memory serves, the uh, knife in this game is permanent, it can't be broken, you just always have it. Feel free to run, I'm already doing it. What have we got over here? They're really quiet. Exit, oh, what's up here? What's this? Tabloid front page. Cannibal murders, a complete digest. In the grey of the morning. <clears throat> of the morning of September 25th, a frantic caller telephone the RPD to report an assault. A man described as this hell of a, this yeah that word <laughs> like a vagrant was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers dis discovered the multi mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body, and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. That would be uh, an issue. So who done it? <laughs> Who's been munching on man steak? We hear News Comet have a gnawing feeling that the so called cannibal disease patient Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August. My god, they need some punctuation. Like August might not be settling for this just the cafeteria food. Our reports have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asking how, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. I want to read it. Oh. All right. Oh. Jill? Yeah. It's me again. Hello. You topside yet? Working nope. on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get the subway infrastructure back online. Give it a go. How do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. Okay. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. I am on it. Oh, oh, down for the knife. <laughs> Boom, red herb. Okay. It's just for stuff, so it's uh, worth pointing out that um, this clearly isn't the beginning of the game. This is some ways into the game. Uh, by this point, if it does follow this, the lines of the original game, this is after you've been to the police station and stuff. So, let's get some more ammo. Find that into there. My gun on. Because you never know. Yeah, uh, is that what I think it is? Yes, this is the gem puzzle, which is quite a ways into the game. So, yeah, we are, I'd say a solid, if you're a speedrunner, a solid 15 minutes into the original game. Casual player, probably about 45 minutes in. Uh, yeah, so that's the same herbs. The herbs work the same as Resident Evil 2. Anything hidden in the dark over here? God, there's a dark corner. Item box. Mm, surprisingly... 
non-surprisingly, non nothing in it yet because we haven't done anything yet. Okay, let's head outside. This bit looks familiar. It's been in trailers and stuff. Nothing to it. Um, okay, so it almost looks clear that you're supposed to walk down that alleyway, but I'm just gonna let's have a little look around. Oh, hello. When do you get anything for shooting all of them? You going here? No. Around this gap that you should be able to go around? No. And those bubble heads are gonna. Oh man, I really want to find them now. Oh, hello, you're still alive. Okay. Oh, you get up. We're gonna go around here. Oh. Plenty of ammo. See a shadow. I see a silhouette of a zombie. Two zombies. how close that other one is so yeah, just gonna move on boom okay oh one to quick set okay uh, can we go in here so all these yellow padlocks I've noticed this because I have seen someone play this already I sort of skipped through it but um there are quite a lot of doors and you can't really do anything with them so I'm assuming they are padlocked so you can't get to them in a demo and in the main full release, they won't be there. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You That's how I knew to get the demo the by seeing someone else's video. I saw it on the site. Huh? Demo's out. Search for it on my normal account, which is a UK account. Couldn't find it anywhere. And then obviously, yes, because it's not out here yet. That's why I am playing on my New Zealand account right now. Comes in handy for this kind of stuff. Gotta put this out. Right, so you can get in there already. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Okay, we're just going to waste time in a cutscene watching them get up. I'd like to just keep control then and just run straight past them. I think I know what they're doing. There's a red barrel right there. Boom. Forcing us to use it. Now these zombies are electrocuting. I don't know whether it stuns them temporarily or... Cool music playing in here. Gunpowder. Plenty of that now. I feel like it's given me a lot of ammo, considering... Although there has been a lot more zombies, I'd say. Yeah, see, there's another one of those padlocks, which you can't do nothing to. Save room. Save room music. See what I am going to do. I am actually going to store this. Because I have two greens. But yeah, if, oh, I thought that was a zombie then. It says a plant. Just a plant. We're good. If I stop talking for long periods of time, it's because I am focusing on what's going on. This is my first playthrough, so. Oh, okay. Oh god. There's a barrel there. Oh, there's a guy there as well. Let's draw all of them this way. Get it a little bit closer, guys. That work for all four of them? Yes, it did. Okay. Now I'm hopefully a little bit more free to explore around here a little bit. I'll be on the floor. get over here, but I'm not going to go through here just yet. I'm actually skipping past a lot of doors. We're going to leave that there. I'm going to go over here. 
a little exploration. See what's going on. Okay. Wow, that didn't even draw his attention. Have a look in here. This looks familiar. Yeah, it just puts it straight in there. It's high grade gunpowder. I'm going to combine it with that and see what comes up. Well, it'd be shotgun shells, which is fine. So they do work the same so far. It's ambient sound, man. I can hear a radio. But yeah, I am probably going to go quiet for large chunks because I want to focus. Okay. I feel like my inventory is getting quite full already. I don't want to go up there just yet because I did run past some stuff back here. Oh, well, I don't really want to go back to that. Yeah, we won't go there just yet. We'll go up here first. If we can. If we can. Oh, hello. Oh, that's the fire hose. Inventory's full. I'll come back here momentarily then. I was saying that, I could just go woo. Wham bam. Or more padlocks. What's this? Gunpowder. Do I have? Yep, we can pick that up. Combine that with that. Combine that with that. We have more space. Grenade? Yep, please. Now. Uh huh. My shotgun. Mr. Boomstick. I have some backup ammo. I am going to equip it. Feel a little bit safer now. Let's grab. Oh, my inventory is full again. Oh shit! Okay, okay. Kick his head. I'm expecting that. Must be the subway company's offices. Think. Huh. Nothing. Huh? I reckon that will be something. We got here. Kite Bros Railway Manual. An event of power outage of subway will automatically cease operation once power has been restored. Please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, the error will occur and operations will not resume. But that's how it works in this game. In the original, you had to go and collect items, bring them back, and then you could use the train. This time, it doesn't seem that way. Or oh, there's more to it. But, like she said, nothing. You click on it, nothing happens. So, uh, it's probably not something we can do in this demo. Oh, okay, I'm fine. Not today, buddy. Where was that save room? In here? Okay, I'm just going to quickly check that car. Yep, thank you. I will take all of the ammo. I feel like the game's giving me a bit too much ammo, actually. Um, what don't I need? I feel like I have enough handgun ammo for now, so store that. 
There we go. Now we have space for that hose. Open. Um, we're not going the right way at all. Zombies don't disappear, which is a good thing, I guess. It's day and age. Does that massive fire hose take up one slot? Yes, it does. Where is she putting this stuff? That's what I like about Resident Evil. I could pick up these massive items and where is she putting them? Nobody knows. Let's continue over here. Oh, there's a zombie here. The same zombie? Wait, I've been in here, haven't I? Oh, God. That's a bit new to be so close. And then there's a uh, box over here which we broke. Oh, hello. Reload. Thank you. Yeah. Glad I got the shotgun. Uh, hello. behind. Didn't need much ammo anyway. And a dead end here. I'm intrigued though. What is in here? Hmm. Something for the full game I guess. We'll have a proper in-depth look once I finish. I just want to play through it and see what it's like. I'm going to play it a few more times obviously. That is pretty much it over here isn't it? Feel like we've done everything. Oh yeah, we didn't go down here yet. Saw that zombie. What's in here? Hey. Grenade, thank you. Not today, buddy. Not today. Okay, so we've got some shotgun ammo and a hand grenade down here. I feel like something's coming up. Um, I don't really have space for anything. Oh, wait. Is that the door we came in? Oh, okay. Oh. Aren't you free? Oh shit. Oh shit. Ow. Get that quick. Leave me alone, leave me alone. We're going over here. Not sure how much that slowed him down, but... <laughs> Agilely blowing out the flames. While well, the nemesis is right behind us. Of course. There indeed. Is he still out here? Wait, where's he gone? What the hell is that? Okay. Well, that thing can hit you through doors. My god, he is a handsome fellow. Is that it? Okay, well there you go. It's in 24 standard. I feel like I started off wanting to look at stuff, but then as it was going on I was like, Collecting stuff, killing zombies, and then a nemesis showed up, and I was just like, must use the hose pipe to get out of here. And that was the end of the demo. Uh, not a bad demo, I quite enjoyed that. Um, not very much to say, except I cannot wait for the game even more now. These demos are having this effect on me these days. Normally, I don't bother with demos and wait, but I just want to play the game, man, get my hands on. Um, yeah, that was, that was good, it looks good, it sounds good. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, it's very similar. It's Resident Evil 2. In fact, Nyon, the control is exactly the same. Except it feels 
It feels a lot faster. I'm not sure if Resident Evil 2 was 30 frames a second or 60, but this feels like it's playing at 60. Even that long distance, like the zombies are all moving pretty normally. Like in Resident Evil 2, they'd all be all like jaggedy in the distance and then got smooth as they got closer. But yeah, I mean, I enjoyed that. I can't wait for the game. I'm going to play the hell out of this demo to find out some more stuff. I mean, it says Dolls Destroyed 2 out of 20. I'm going to find all 20 and uh, see what you get. And if you do get anything, I'll let you know. But yeah, for now, guys, that's the end of the demo. Um, see if there's anything after this. Da da da. Tools are provided by people. On the da 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 da. Blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, this teaser. Brad, good to see you, buddy. Oh, laser sight, who's Can that? Somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Okay. Mm, that's new. Little subway car. The nemesis, if it's anything like the original. Hey, it's Kendo. Stop it and do what? I got your back. Go. Go. Clock sticky. You better hunt. Sorry. Marvin. Look out! Oh, Mark. Starving Marvin. That's a bad starving Marvin. That's how I've always known him. <laughs> God damn South Park. Okay, a nice little teaser there at the end. Uh, no. And I believe that's it. Is that going to be it? That is going to be it. Yeah, that is the Resident Evil 3 demo, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you join me on the 3rd of April when I will play in the hell out of this game, as long as that certain little thing that's going around in the world at the moment doesn't postpone this as well as... Because everything I have planned is getting cancelled at the moment, and it's really annoying. But anyway, we're going to go into this and hope for the best. Final Fantasy VII had a little statement earlier. Apparently, they're pushing ahead of the release, so hopefully Resident Evil 3 will as well. I can't see them not. It's too late now for them to delay it. So... It'll be out. So hope you enjoy me then. You guys have a good one. And uh, you enjoy your days uh, as best you can. Good health to you all. Peace.